Luzerne County, Pennsylvania, the first Holy Communion for a group of youngsters at one of the Catholic churches. In another part of the county, it's a busy day for the coroner. We've been averaging nearly three a week for the last year and a half. And for a small community like this, it's really very out of the ordinary. And unfortunately now it has become ordinary. This part of America is known as deer hunter territory. where once local young men and women went off to fight in Vietnam and other foreign wars. Now the body bags are being filled right here on the streets they call home. Can I go with her? Some girl uh, overdosed in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, she looked like she was <laughs> up, like I've never seen before. Was... This is the war against opioids that many Americans are fighting and right now losing. Drug overdoses are the leading cause of death among under 50s here. And the drugs responsible, heroin and its synthetic equivalent, fentanyl. The tragedy is that many begin their journey into addiction with a prescription from a doctor designed to alleviate pain. And that's TJ's story. He took his own life early this year following a drugs relapse. Everything began to go wrong for TJ after he broke his collarbone. He suffered a broken clavicle and was prescribed an opiate drug. And uh, I think that's where it kind of begun and escalated from there. In the UK, you'd be given paracetamol or ibuprofen. And for TJ, that first prescription proved a disaster. He was soon addicted and seeking out OxyContin and heroin. Right here. This is where I now come to see my son. It's just two weeks since they buried their son. TJ had lost his battle with addiction. This is terrible to come out here. I know my... I know. <laughs> oh my God, they're going to be sick. I know. My I miss them so much. We do miss them. I just don't feel and like then... there's anything we can do. It's just, it's, it's so big. It's so out of control. I know, Mike. I know. He's with his gram. It's it's, it's, it's just really totally terrible. unbelievable it, around here. I mean, there's too many good people losing their yeah. lives. Yeah. Honestly. And and my son is one of them. Because he was sober for so long, for, and that was the longest period of time he was sober, but and serious and really wanted his life and he failed. He failed himself. Him like killing himself there. That hurt more than him actually overdosing, just because. And see, it's vice versa for your mom. I know, and it it kills me, cause he like, I don't know, actually thought about putting that around his neck and shit, and like, that sucks. Like I don't know, like what he thought, like, like I don't know, it hurts. I just and, and it it's, sucks. It's terrible to say this, and I miss my mother terrible, but I'm glad my mother passed away when she did, because I, I don't know how I would have told my mother that her grandson is no longer here. Just yards from St. Faustina's Church on the outskirts of Wilkesbury, the police's new drugs task force is on the move, searching for dealers. 
on that drugs. This is this cash here. Proceeds from narcotic sales. The police officers show me what they've picked up on the latest raid. This is the heroin that was seized last night by the officers. As you can see, they have stamps on them. And, um, you know, this particular one here says do or die on it. It says the do or die stamp. What these officers are most worried about is a new lethal mix, heroin cut with carfentanil. Carfentanil can be absorbed through the skin, and you can actually overdose and die just by touching the product. This particular packet of heroin is stamped, is stamped jackpot. The majority of our drugs around here is Philadelphia, New York City, New Jersey. The majority. And, and where's it come from before? Is it all coming, where's it coming South from? South America. I mean, you go to South, South America is the origin of it. Um, so it's coming up through Mexico? Absolutely. Absolutely. The cemetery where TJ lies in Wilkesbury bears witness to the fact that this was once a welcoming place for immigrants from Poland, Italy and Ireland. They came to work in the coal mines, now long closed. In the recent elections, Luzerne County swung heavily to Trump. And I wondered what TJ's mum and dad made of the new president's promises. I don't know what to think with him. Uh, build a wall, not build a wall. Is that going to solve the problem? I think Trump's more interested in making it easier for day traders and Wall Street. So he's more about business than he is about control of drugs. So I don't think anything he's going to do is going to put a dent in it at all. I don't know. A lot of people are afraid of this drug situation around here. And that's all there is to it. Because they think it's dirty. And, you know, they, they think... They don't get it. You know, a lot of people like not my family in that like outsiders think only bums get it and uh, people that are uh, filthy are the only ones that get it heroin's not prejudice no it's not drug addiction is not it's for every walk of life right now I was given rare access to the coroner's office in Wilkesbury. Today was another sad day, a local man dead from an overdose. Typically he was found unresponsive by his roommates uh, in the house, and that's the typical scenario. The number of autopsies has been increased as the drugs task force attempts to trace the drugs and in turn the dealers. The toxicology gives them vital clues. Too much noise, so we can the hear surgeon who performs the operation, Gary it, Ross, a is a proud Pennsylvanian, about. born and bred. I've been doing this over 35 years. When I first started out, uh, drug deaths were not uncommon, but you'd see one uh, maybe two or three times a month. And now I'm seeing two or three a week. So it's a massive increase over the period of time that I've been doing this. The surgeon confirmed that TJ's journey into addiction is typical. A lot of the drug use uh, starts innocently, where people are uh, injured in some way, take an opiate, and uh, realize that uh, they like the feeling. And it takes away a lot of some of their problems. What's the dangerous thing? Is the cocktail of, of stuff? Is that what really kills people? Well, the dangerous thing is that any time a drug is taken, you really don't know what you're taking. And uh, it could be anything. And it's basically a playing Russian roulette every time you take pills off the street or inject yourself with anything off the street. How are you going to stop this thing around here? No, I don't think we can. I don't have an answer. Just don't. It's pretty sad. At the family home, TJ's dog Kobe is still keeping vigil, waiting for his master to come home. Upstairs, his bedroom is left untouched, just as it was. This was his bedroom. Right here. Typical boys' room. His hats and coats and uh, this is stuff I didn't get put away yet. Uh, his clothing and that. Uh. 
Watching over the room a crucifix TJ received for his first Holy Communion at the Polish church just up the road.